Software Spring Presence How to sum investment amount by month, in Google Sheets Hello folks, greetings. Welcome to this tutorial, which gives the steps for a method to sum the investments, by month. The objective of this tutorial is to sum investment amount by month. Say, an investor makes these investments, on these days. Let's further say that, the investor wants to sum the investments, by month. A method to sum investments by month. Use EO a month, filter, and sum functions. EO a month returns last date of month of specified date. Filter returns data, which fulfill specified conditions, to sum. Sum returns total of numbers, returned by filter. Nest filter inside sum, to get total investments by month, in one step. For more info on EO month, sum, and filter functions, please refer to their separate tutorials, whose links are given in the description. Going forward, let's look at the sum function formula. Here's the filter function formula. The EO month function formula is. Here's the sum filter function combo formula. Note that the investments, are made in the month of September, October, and November. So, let's type the starting dates of the investment months. Let's format these dates, to display only their month names. Select these dates. Click More Formats. Select Custom Number Format. Select MMM, and click Apply. If this format is not available for selection, type MMM here, and click Apply. OK, only the names of the months, of the dates, are displayed. Before we proceed further, let's define the filter arguments, Condition 1, and Condition 2. Condition 1 is, investment date, in range A3 to A9, should be greater than, or equal to, D3, which is first investment date of a month. The expression for this condition is, Condition 2 is, investment date, in range A3 to A9, should be less than, or equal to, last investment date of a month. The expression for this condition is, 0, gives last date of month of specified starting date. Putting these all together, the sum, filter, and EO month function combo formula is Alright, we are ready to sum investments by month, using the three function combo formula. First, type the equal to symbol, type SU, and select sum. For value 1. Let's nest the filter function. Type FAL, and select filter. For range, select this area, because we want to extract in some numbers, in this range. Type comma. For condition 1, select this area, type the greater than symbol, type the equal to symbol, and click this cell. Type comma. For condition 2, select this area, type the less than symbol, and type the equal to symbol. Type EO, and select EO month. For start date, click this cell. Type comma. For months, type 0, because we want the last date of the month of start date. Type the three closing parentheses, one each for EO month, filter, 
and some. Press enter. There you go. The three function combo formula has returned the total investment amount for this month. Click this cell. Before we copy the formula down these cells, we have to lock these addresses, so they do not change as we copy the formula. Click before a letter C, and press F4. Repeat the steps, for the other two addresses, and press Enter. Copy the formula. Alright, these are the total investments, in these months. Quick review. A method to sum data of investments, profits, revenues, expenses, etc., by month, is using EO month, sum, and filter functions combo formula. Use EO month, to get last investment date of a month. Filter extracts amount of investments, in each month based on two conditions. Sum, sums the numbers returned by filter, and returns total investments in a month. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.